there, my name is Faith Young. I'm Farm Judge 1029, and I've been raising rabbits for 22 years, but I've been raising mini lops for 12 years. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the mini lop. The mini lop standard really specifies three things of importance they need to be compact, heavily muscled, and balanced. Their maximum weight is six and a half pounds and the ideal weight is six pounds, so we really want all of that mass and muscle in a six pound frame if possible. The most points are focused on body type, so that's really what we're gonna talk about first. You want an animal to be short, deep, wide, and round. You want their high point to be over their hip. Their deepest, widest point should be in their hind quarter, which indicates that their high point should be right over the center of that hip. And it's really important to make sure they're posed correctly or you won't get to evaluate their top line correctly. You want them to have a short, strong, wide shoulder that rises into an even stronger, wider midsection and loin that rounds off into a full lower hind quarter. If the animal's high point is forward, such as right in the middle of the back, you're gonna find that it slopes off over the hind quarter. And a lot of times that's going to lead them to being softer in the loin, a little bit hollow in the loin. You might feel yourself catching on their hips a little bit. And they might not have the fullness at the base of the table to an animal that has the correct high point. If you have an animal that's a little bit too long and narrow in shoulder, they're not gonna to wanna to sit properly for you. They might fight you a little bit more and you're going to get, and I call it the light bulb effect. Imagine viewing a light bulb from the top. You're gonna to have parallel shoulders that are kind of sunken in, and then they widen out through the midsection. So you really wanna make sure you have that strong front end to give you the proper top line. Now, this is where they can be a little bit controversial, but it is something that's very important in the mini lap standard, and that's balance. The number one thing to remember about balance is that it's really just uniformity. You want them to have a head that matches their body. You want them to have a massive body and a massive head. This is a pretty well-balanced animal, and I have an example over here. You want them to have the length of body that matches the width of body, that matches the depth of body. If you have an animal that's a little bit too long, it's gonna come across as flat. One of the things that often gets overlooked in mini lops is muscling. Now, they aren't a meat breed, but it is something that's incredibly important to the breed. You wanna make sure that you're not grabbing handfuls of skin off of a mini lop when you're running your hands over them. You wanna make sure you feel that muscle retention right through the loin and that it's not sagging into the lower hind quarter. A little bit of a skirt at the base of the lower hind quarter is fine, but as long as the skin's not falling off of them, you don't want the flesh to move around just too much. You're also gonna feel a little bit hollow in the loin. They're also gonna feel a little bit hollow in the loin when you're running your hands over them if they don't have the flesh or muscling through the midsection. So you wanna make sure your animal's nice and firm through the shoulder midsection into that lower hind quarter. The muscling's also gonna help with their coat. You wanna make sure that they have a slick, dense, roll back coat and when they have a little bit looser muscling you're going to find that the coat doesn't quite ever finish. Next is bone. In the standard it doesn't get a lot of emphasis but you're going to need that to really give them that short thick appearance that you want on a mini lock. That's also going to help really open up that ear, round it out and add the substance of ear. It's also going to give them that curvature over the brow into the lower muzzle that you want. It's something, like I said, that isn't talked about too much in the standard, but it's really the base of the rabbit. So, thickness of bone with two ways to check it is by looking at their ears. If they have good thickness of bone, it's gonna be nice and round and thick on the ears. Another way to check is by flipping them over. You want them to have short, You want them to have short, thick front limbs. You want it to be nice and stout, kind of like a tree trunk. And you also want a feel of that and make sure that it's not just fur. The next most important thing in the standard is the head, ear, and crown. We're gonna lump all of those together because they all have a place of importance on them. The first thing I'm going to look at is the width between the eyes. You want them to have good width between the eyes, good curvature over the brow, which is really that roundness from the base of the crown into 
the lower muscle. You want them to have good width in the lower muscle and you want it to be nice and round and full. <laughs> and then the ears and the crown are really connected together. She's showing hers off pretty well right now. <laughs> You want them to have a nice wide crown that's set well on the head. If it's a little bit too far back, your ears are going to be a little bit folded and slipped in crown. You want them to have a nice wide crown because that's going to make sure that their ears are sitting properly against their cheeks. And if your crown is nice and open from the front to back and side to side, you're going to get that really round ear that you want to see on a mini lock. Another important thing to remember with crowns is you want that depth of crown. It's really going to give it that wow factor. You don't want it to be too shallow. Okay, so in the mini lock standard, it really emphasizes posing as the utmost importance with a mini lock. Like I said earlier, posing can really disfigure a mini lock's top line, which is very important to understanding the mini lock. So you want to make sure. Okay, so first I'm going to show you an example of overposing a mini lock. You want to make sure normally that their feet are right underneath their eyes, their front toes. But if you tuck them back and then you really push forward her back feet, you're going to see that she looks super deep and she's going to feel great when you touch her. However, if you really look at her from the side, you can see that it makes her look undercut and almost pinched in the lower hind quarter. It's also going to shift her high point forward a little bit, which is going to look like it slopes off into the lower hind quarter. Now I'm going to show you underposing a mini lock. So essentially this is just flopping them on the table. So we're going to lift her up, put her down, and you'll see a lot of times people will do this and then just kind of pat them on the butt. That's going to leave her looking a little bit longer and flatter in overall body type. You're not going to get the real appearance of her rise through the midsection over the top of that hind quarter. Now I'm going to show you how to correctly pose a mini lock. You want to make sure that her front toes are even with her eye. Now a trick I like to do, I call it the three finger trick. We're going to take our ring finger, our thumb, and our pointer finger and on the sides we're going to put the ear on, put them on the ear, and then we're going to put our pointer finger on the head so we have full control over the front end of the rabbit. Next we're going to stop at the, start at the top of the hind quarter and go down the sides like this and make sure that her foot isn't too far up and it's tucked under her elbow. We want to make sure it's even with the thigh full of the rib. I don't like how I said that. <laughs> We're going to make sure that her front foot is even with the front of her hip. And there you can see her natural top line. This rabbit does peak a little bit too far forward, but she has an excellent front end on her. She's got good fullness through the midsection. And she just slightly slopes off over the hind quarter and has good fullness in the lower hind quarter. She's got great muscling and fullness in the loin. And we wouldn't be able to see all that if she wasn't properly posed.